another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching lost this is the seventh episode of the second season hopefully guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just click on it put the password in and enjoy so last episode it was actually crazy because i had an unexpected ending and it looks like it's a Shannon death. Yes, who would have thought it? So Boone's gone. And now, obviously, Sister Shannon looks like she's possibly died by Anna Lucia, not even an other. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's obviously panicking in the trees. She thought that they was coming after them. Obviously, she's with uh, Mr. Echo, um, Sawyer, you know, Michael and Jin trying to go back to their camp. And she's just lost one of her camp members as well. Do you know what I mean? The interesting thing is, obviously, Sawyer's kind of collapsed because of, obviously, his wounds. And he can't really do the travel. So they've made a little... Uh, uh, you know, like a little stretcher for him. They're carrying him. They're pushing him up the hill. And obviously, as they turn around, one of their crew members have gone missing. Yes, yeah, some uh, female has been taken, it looks like, by the others. They also explained as well that, obviously, there was 23 of them. We could see that, obviously, there was five of them there at the time. We was wondering what's been going on with the, with the rest of them. And she explained that first you know they come in they took three people and then they come and took another 12. so then obviously if we done the mass and added it all up um that means that you know 12 have been taken there's five and there there's 17 so the rest of them going up to 23 must have been killed because we did see obviously a couple of bodies lay in the trees when mr echo was walking around with Jin. now the interesting thing is as well it sounds like they may have possibly lost some children um so it's not just walt that's been taken and it's not just claire's baby that it looked like they were trying to take as well but obviously, it looks like this part of uh, the plane wreckage, so to speak, survivors, they obviously might have lost a few kids as well. So I can't wait to see them because obviously we've seen a couple of them walking around in the trees, not seeing the faces, but we did see what looked to be uh, some children walking because one was dragging a little bear, wasn't there? Um, you could see that when Jin and obviously Mr. Echo was hiding in the trees. And like I said, you know, the whole last episode, it was all about Shannon trying to get to uh, basically... Uh, to an internship you know she wanted to move to new york she wanted to put the work in her dad actually died you know it looks like um you know boone's mum took all of the money her dad didn't really have a will which obviously meant that she was left with nothing and uh, obviously boone's mum wouldn't even give her a penny said that you know she always says that she's going to do things and never actually follow through with it and it's now time for her to make it on her own and uh, you know it's kind of correlating to the episode when she was saying that you know i am going to do something do you believe me and they're like no and in the episode she was saying do you believe that i see walt to saeed and well the interesting thing is he he didn't say no, but he was insinuating it. But then she ran off and she was upset. So he said, yeah, I do believe you. And he also told her he loved her. And, uh, you know, they was, uh, you know, he gave her a kiss before, obviously, she ran off. Because they both seen Walt, both of them, Saeed and Shannon, did see him. And uh, they chased after him. And that's what resulted into her getting shot. Now, again, the interesting thing is, if he's there and they are seeing him, that means that he was, like, five minutes in a radius around Michael. So, you know... If they actually tell him that they've seen him, he's going to be panicking and going chasing, isn't it? So it's going to be exciting for it. But that's where we currently are. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump in to episode 7 of the second season of Lost. Why are we focusing so long on this? Oh, the sky decent actually i wonder if we get the back of the plane i wonder if this kid's been taken oh little girl's died oh it was his bear <laughs> oh saved her intense Yo, I actually really did love that start. I'm not going to lie. It was good, mate. You know, just... She was telling the truth, though. She did find herself woken up inside the... You know, well, under the water. She did say that. Now, again, you know, I would love this episode to be all about these. I don't even care. Well, I mean, yeah, about Sawyer and Shannon. Only the Shannon bit. I want to know if she's alive or died. You know what I mean? I, care, I do actually care about that. But, like, I don't care about getting their camp story today. Because I actually think this one's really good. You could even do a couple of episodes of them surviving and how they differed to, obviously, the ones that we've seen with Kate and, obviously, Jack. And then, obviously, how the others have come and taken these but not taken them. And do you know what I mean? Like, the two different opposite sort of, like, ways of living on the island 
I would be fascinated to watch it. I don't even need to see the others because I'll be so like entertained with this one. Would you look after the children? There's something I have to do. Uh, Mr. Echo's not got a beard now. Look, his beard's not there. Stay with this nice woman. It's mad to see now that their body's floating. Hey, no. Oh bad. wow. Snap my left leg. You a doctor? Your med school before I dropped out. I need some help! Someone in the jungle! Oh yes, it's him, mate. Help. We should climb up there. I'll hold no, him no, steady, no, you wait. pull him. What's your name? Uh, Bernard! Is he dead? I think he's dead. Now grab the branch next to you. I don't think I can do that. Bernard? Those seats are gonna fall. Yo, it's high grip. Hold on tight, okay? I'm coming up to get you. You couldn't find any matches? You can ask around, but I couldn't find any. Better get a signal fire started so they can find us. What are you, a Boy Scout? Grown up version. from the Peace Corps. What's your name? Goodwin. Goodwin, was he the body of the guy that Jin found in the in the trees? You were the one who pulled the dead bodies out of the water? Or any of them African American? No. It's my wife. I can't find her. Where the hell are the rescue planes? I will pray for them too. <laughs> you know, I do like him, me. You know, that'd be the hardest bit, the unknown. You know, if you travelled with a companion and you don't even know if they're dead or alive, you just sat there wondering constantly. You wouldn't know what was going on, would you? Over here. Ah, oh, are they the others? Oh, mate, you know, that's actually interesting because he seems like a decent guy, to be honest, but you, you never actually know, do you? You never actually know, but he does seem decent and it, w it would seem out of character what we've seen so far of him to just randomly attack two people and just kill them. He, like, I feel like... He's got the ability to do it. The guy's a beast, isn't he, mate? Literally, the guy's well hench. But the fact is, you know, if they attacked him, he would have retaliated. And I, I would I would actually love it if that those two people were the others and they come to try and take people from the camp and he caught them and he was a scrap and he won. That would be so good. And then, obviously, it could be the steamroll effect to why their camp was kind of subject to people being taken and, and, and the focus over the other ones so far because obviously they dealt some damage before obviously like Ethan was killed. Yes it is them. No cell phone. Are you okay? Look, three of the people are missing. They're out here in the jungle with no shoes, nothing in their pockets. These people were here before us. We need to get off the beach. They have satellites. The black box. Don't need a fire for them to find us. We were flying for two hours in the wrong direction. They don't know where to look. He's listening on the plane. Nobody does that. <laughs> I say, I, I said, I, I can't believe that the other camp's not done this. Wrote a message in the sand. It's Donald. His leg, the infection is getting worse. What are we supposed to do about that? It's similar to the um, the guy transporting Kate, in it? The air marshal, got to kill him. A5, we're flying now. See, are they classing those people as survivors? Do you know what I mean? Come on, grab it, grab it! I got it, I got it, I got it! I got it. Oh no, I got it! 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 Why aren't you talking? Maybe they were the first two people that he killed. You were just defending yourself. I heard a pig or something out there. Maybe we can have some bacon tomorrow. Where were you? I had to go to the bathroom. A system for that. We go in pairs. I mean, she's not wrong though. Is she, you know, going in pairs knowing that people are out there. Yes, she got him. Which way did they go? I don't know, it's that, man. Wake up! Wake up! She died of one hit. I suppose it was a rock. Were they the targets? The targets. It's a list. A list of what? Of us. It's a list of nine of us. So, obviously, following that story, the first time Mr. Echo killed two of them, it seemed like three left. Obviously, this time here, they come in 
nine was taken that's what it seems like to me you know i'm trying to figure out that when they said that there was 23 survivors if they included people like the guy with his broken leg who died within one or two days because i personally wouldn't class that you know what i mean so say like you know the woman that died in the sea when jack went to try and say boone i wouldn't really class her as a survivor and she is though factually she is but like you know, I would never have said that because it was like, what, one or two days into the camp and then she died. And it's like, well, she did survive the crash, but she pretty much died straight away. So, like, I, I class, like, these people now here who's been there for 12 days, they're the survivors. They're the ones of the 23, and obviously they're the ones now being taken. But it's interesting that they've been heavily involved with this camp and nothing, pretty much nothing at all with the other one, only Ethan. They dragged nine people into the jungle. The kids, now's not a good time to talk. Here are the names of every single person they took. One of them had a list of us. We're all scared. Let's not get paranoid here. We don't know anything. You said we needed to keep the signal fire burning. I think it's time we let it go out. What we're saying, do you reckon he's infiltrated that camp like Ethan did or what? I don't know, 15 days or? We've been walking for three days straight, Anna. And you're still here? Rock wall on our backs, lots of fruit trees right here. Looks pretty good to me. It's interesting, you can see the the conflict between the two people trying to take charge. Well, we didn't really have that in the other one. You said that Nathan was gone for two hours, that he was missing. You really think it's possible that one of us... Why do you think I'm digging this hole? Bro, a minute. Yo, we're flicking through it now, quick. Day 19, I'm actually liking it. It's good. Oh, hey, Anna. Oh. Anna! out of here right now you let me out you let me out if he really were one of them why would he still be here i don't know but i'm gonna find out you know to be fair i've got to counter it though like in terms of i didn't see him on the plane mate of course you're not gonna see him on the plane if you sat nowhere near him let's be honest you know i've just literally recently been to portugal and i can guarantee you that i would probably only tell you the person that was sat next to me on the plane <laughs> you know what i mean i wouldn't be, be able to tell you like who the passengers are or the cabin crew now i know you could say oh well you know yours was a couple of weeks ago yeah well that's 15 days ago do you know what i'm saying like they was in the crash and you don't pay attention to, to to little details like that now i mean one or two people here and there you might clock you know like jack could remember lock and jack could remember also roles because i think that they engaged in like a not like a confrontation as if to but like they looked at each other and he smiled and uh, he was speaking to her about a husband do you know what i mean like you would remember those engagements but you you wouldn't remember charlie walking down the aisle to go to the toilet do you know what i mean you wouldn't remember kate being sat there you know with a marshal next to him like i think that's physically impossible to remember but i'm not saying that they're crazy to believe that he is possibly involved you know he's not alive now in the timeline where we currently are on the island um you know one of the females that are here in this camp she did get taken last uh last episode we've also got the one that uh helped that guy with his leg who was speaking to michael a couple of episodes back i feel like I, don't know, I like her personality. I like Echoes and I like hers. I feel like she would be pretty good, actually, being into the camp. She's quite knowledgeable. She she might not be a doctor, but she can help. You know what I mean? And the more, the better, in my personal opinion. And like I said, mate, you know, so far, it makes me think that this guy is involved because it's not that far-fetched because Ethan was infiltrating their camp. Where are you from, Nathan? Canada. What were you doing in Australia? Name is Ethan. Company retreat. I stayed a couple extra days to sightsee. I don't remember seeing you on the plane, Anna Lucia. <laughs> Mate, I'm sure Nathan said that. I mean, Ethan, which is kind of the same name from... What's that behind you? I said, get out. <laughs> a banana. Someone's feeding them. I'm trying to find out what they did to us. And you're taking care of them. I didn't do anything. Whose idea was it to stay at the beach where they could pick us off one by one? The thing is, you got to think, if he is innocent, you know what I mean? You're kind of torturing him a little bit. Heading down there four days. I promised that little girl that I would get her back home to her mom. Do you have any kids, Anna? No. We're not savages. So say so you can't get let out back into their camp. It'll just be well awkward and weird. Maybe he kills him while he's running out. Now, Lucia, uh, I think we all think that she's going to hurt you. Which way's the beach? That way, maybe five miles. <laughs> Well, maybe he's the other. 
<laughs> that's pretty good, that, actually. That was actually good, but he died, though. He actually did die, and Miss Echo said that he was a good man. Morning. I only see him. He's gone. Anna, right, what are you going to do? They found us. It's time to move. Haha, <laughs> mate. It's actually really good. I have loved this episode. See you know what I mean? We had day 26, and all we seen there was her looking at him. Weapons. It's a glass eye. The Holy Bible. It's a radio. They said they had one, didn't they? Hello, can anybody hear me? The hills are blocking it. If we want a signal, we need to get to higher ground. I'll go with you. She's been a bit sus of him, aren't she? Or been looking at him different the past few days. Doing this? Why do I think who's doing what? Don't you ever wonder why they attack us? Why do you think like they take some of us and not the others? I feel like she's trying to bait him. They're all athletic. Threats. They didn't take you. Because they changed their plan after two of them got killed. Where do you think they got it? I mean, they don't even wear shoes. Where'd they get an army knife? A knife. It's U.S. military. You see the Tang stamp? This knife's probably 20 years old. Can I ask you something? When you ran out of the jungle the day of the crash, how did you find Bernard up in the tree? Did he see you out there? Is that why you pretended to be one of us? You ran out of the jungle. Ten minutes after the crash, you weren't wet. You were never even in the ocean. What did you... If you had cut off his finger and he still told you he was on the plane, I think maybe you would have started to believe you had the wrong guy. Nathan was not a good person. That's why he wasn't on the list. Well, she's not a good person. Right, that was interesting, that. So, I'm going to say that she's going to come back here to the camp and she's going to say that they was attacked. And the interesting thing is, you know, is she, do you reckon she's probably going to... Would it be beneficial for her to think, for the camp to think that Nathan was the, you know, the infiltrator, which makes her kind of look all right because it was kind of like her call that believed that it was. And then, you know, she said that those two was attacked on their little hike and he didn't make it back. I said they were savages for leaving it, obviously, the dead people just in the middle of the trees and not burying them. But obviously, he's killed him. You know what I'm saying? So that's different. It's good that she figured it out, though. It's clever. And, uh, you know, I didn't suspect him either. But, you know, she's right. You know, he, he come out the tree. The thing is, it's it's how fast they made it to the camps. That's it, innit? As soon as the plane crashed, there was one person there who decided that they was the ones. But what I just picked up on that is that Nathan wasn't on the list because he wasn't a good person which means to me it sounds like that they only want good people which then makes you think are these not classed as good ones these ones that are left here i don't understand you know what i'm saying so like he said at first it looked like he was coming in taking the strongest the most useful ones and then he said that he was taking the children you know what i mean and uh, they had the list of good people and obviously he wasn't on that because he wasn't a good one but then would their names was do you know what I mean? Was their name supposed to be on it, but they didn't manage to do it in time? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because why would that girl who fixed that guy's leg, you know, why is she classed as not useful? T to be honest, she's very useful. You know what I'm saying? And like, so I'm just trying to figure that one out. But it was good that she done it. Where's Goodwin? We're safe here now. Oh, so she didn't say that they come. And what he's thinking? He did admit though that he wasn't over, but none of them heard it. Why are you wasting your time with that thing? There's no signal. Repeat your transmission, please. Come on. Who survivors of the crash of Oceanic Flight 815? No, no, wait a minute. What are you doing? It's them. No, he said 815. He said Flight 815. They know our flight number because Goodwin knew our flight number. This is our life now. A tough one, that one. Because I can't blame her for having that paranoia for everything that's happened to them. But you've got to have that little bit of hope as well, haven't you? <laughs> what are you looking at? Going to be okay. What, you talking now? You've been waiting 40 days to talk. You waited 40 days to cry. <laughs> 40 days to talk, 40 days to cry. Day 45. I'm assuming that's current now. Hand him over. Jin! Where are you from? 
He doesn't even speak English. That doesn't mean anything. Anna, we found him in the water. He has a broken handcuff on his wrist. He's running! <laughs> you think they're okay? Let's find out. <laughs> Imagine getting struck off him. She was the one that was taken, wasn't she? That one with the headband on then. I knew it was going to end there. That's, that's the second... Do you know what I've got to say? That's the second time it, this season that we've ended an episode with the same ending as another episode i'm sure with the desmond thing yeah we had two episodes of jack finishing at the end saying it's you or something like that it's happened two times and then last episode how did it end shannon being shot then the camera panning on them and then it finished how's this episode ended shannon being shot camera panning on them and it's finished like what's going on there why are you doing the same ending now i'm not moaning at that actually you know i know it sounds like i am but i thought the episode was great in my personal opinion i would say this is the best episode of this season so far why because i just thought it was more the most entertaining yeah okay the bunker was great and seeing what was down there but it wasn't that great was it it was like basically it was a bunker there's a button you gotta press it desmond's ran off there's food supply there do you know what i mean like uh so far the bunker's been a bit underwhelming you know what i'm saying like considering we had the main uh, it was pretty much kind of the main focal story point of last season boone and obviously lock trying to get into that hatch breaking it down don't tell anybody a secret you know playing crashing still didn't tell them all of this stuff dynamite blow it up got inside someone lived there he's ran off not seen him since what we're doing in there now we're pressing the button not really been in there since you know what i mean like let's be honest a bit underwhelming i'm not saying that i don't like it i'm just saying considering we focused on it hard core mate it's not really been utilized or used and like their bunker that they was in looks like it's totally different it didn't look as high tech it didn't like it had beds food supplies you know what i mean i haven't got a computer station that you press buttons and stuff like their one theirs looks totally run down and well old compared to obviously desmond's which is obviously still in use so it's interesting to see but personally in my opinion i think that this has been the best episode of the season i also think that the show should start adapting what day it is in the episode i really like the fact that we went day one day two day three all the way up until present day i thought that that i personally think that was probably one of the best bits that the the episode has done I don't know why I find that so entertaining. I just do. I just feel like it makes me understand a storyline a little bit more. Like, you know, basically, like, if somebody starts going crazy at somebody or something like that, or starts trusting them, it's like, right, I get it. You know, you were sus with them on day three. Now it's like day 15. You kind of spent more time with them. They've not done anything. You understand it. Like, I don't know. To me, anyway, seeing the time and the line as it progresses... I can kind of understand relationships progressing and how people feel. Like, uh, for example, last episode when Saeed told Shannon that he loved her, yeah, technically that was day 48, and I feel like loving someone after 48 days is too soon. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he said he loved her. I hope he means it, but, like, in my personal opinion, yeah, if I met somebody today, I would not be expecting in 48 days' time for me saying that I loved them. You know what I mean? Because love is a big, massive, strong word, so... I don't know timeline i think it's really good i feel like i should implement it more also i would love to have more and more stories of like this side of the camp like can we have their backstories i mean rose is part of the main one but like can we have a rose and bernard one can we have an anna lucia one do you know what i mean like can we have a mr echo how did they get onto the island you know what i mean what about the other two females as well more of them please you know there's lots of stuff that we could do with this side of the you know plain so to speak and the characters have gone and the kids have been taken it's not just Walt. Well, these guys are going to be motivated as well you know i was kind of thinking that when they asked or something last episode and they asked Anna lucia she got kids or something i think you had the last episode on this one she said no both times but in my head i was kind of thinking like 
maybe she's lost a kid on the island. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if she feels the pressure that she chose the responsibility of keeping those two kids safe and they was taken that she has to get them back. So I think it's really good. To me, it was the best one so far of season two. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, guys enjoyed it. You know, I just said that I thought this was the best episode of season two. I'm actually going to dive in and watch another one in a, in a minute. You know, I actually really enjoyed that one. I want to see more. But I thought it was really good, the progression of them. I feel like we've done their progression better than the, the main camp. I know it's only... Theirs have been crammed into one episode where, obviously, the main crash, Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Michael, everybody, Jin, it was a slow burner through it. I just feel like this one is interesting to see because it was so quick fire. You know, like day, 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 day. You could see people's like trust in in people grow and like dwindle away, and like suspicion and like looking at people funny and thinking, are they part of them? Are they the others? Do you know what I'm saying? Like because it was so quick and it's like bang, 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 bang after each other. You could see everybody's personalities and stuff like that and. Um, I liked it. Now, that Nathan guy, a bit tight. I feel sorry for him a little bit, yeah, because he actually was just a, well, I think, was a normal guy. And he, just because, like, I don't know, it's a little bit strange they didn't like him or they thought that he was one of those and obviously he threw in the pit. And uh, that guy, I thought that what he was going to do is pretend that he was going to save him. So that guy's like, yeah, 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 gives, discloses loads of information, and then we're like, psych, kick him back in the hole. Do you know what I mean? Like, we knew that he was going to say that. We was just waiting to try and get a bit of trust in you, but no, mate. Just grabbed him and bang, killed him. And then she done well in figuring out he was obviously not part of the plane um, because... I don't know, she started thinking back, in it. You know, he was the first one to run into the island. He was the one that said that he seen Bernard in the trees. Like, he wasn't wet when everybody else was, you know. he. I, I feel like you could catch people out by asking, like, not strange questions, but, like, if I said to somebody, who do you bank with, yeah, you would know you bank, you know what I mean? You would know multiple ones and because you could say where you're from canada what you are, what do you do oh i'm a box company person but then ask them something like specific like um i don't know do you know who won the super bowl last year they shouldn't know that do you know what i'm saying but like you might not know that but most people do i mean i'm not even american yeah and i know who wins the super bowl do you know what i'm saying so like it's certain things um that i believe that you'll be able to drop questions in and that everybody kind of common knowledge should actually know you know what i'm saying so um i would have done that type of stuff like i, I thought that with the ethan one was saying that he said he was from canada and i i was saying like quite a lot of people apparently speak french over there uh so i would ask him to translate some of the words that shannon was trying to do and if he didn't know it'd be a bit sus you know what i mean like use your your common sense use your like your, your own bit of knowledge and see if you could do it she done well there you know well she was trying to use the army knife as like some sort of way of it as well i'm not too sure how she um you know how, how she was thinking that that was gonna go i mean she did say uh, that was made like 20 years ago they don't make it anymore how did these people come into contact with it you know what i mean how have they got it here that's a good question you know what i mean but like how's that bunker like, if I was him, I, I would have played it down that like, I don't know what you're talking. Like, the guy actually admitted to it and then started fighting, but I'd be like, you know, you got it all wrong. Like, you know, I was on uh, I was on the island. I, as Bernard, landed in a tree. You know, I managed to unhook myself. I wasn't as high up, you know, because you wouldn't walk, walk around looking at other seats in the trees. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could say loads of stuff like, because Bernard wasn't wet. You know, if he come down and he was on the grass and you seen him, like, you'd be sus of him. Do you know what I'm saying? So... I don't know, man. They're fast on the feet and they think, well, I just, I wouldn't have admitted it if I was him. I would have tried to play it out. Uh, but, you know, yeah, there was a scrap. She killed him. And it wasn't, obviously, the others that killed them. He was another and she's killed them. So we've actually seen three of them die, I think. I think Mr. Eccles killed two and she's killed one this episode. And then, obviously, back in the main camp as well, we've seen Ethan. So all together, that's four others that have been eliminated right now. And we know that, obviously, Walt's been taken. That's only one by from that camp we've had uh obviously alex been taken so that's danielle's son uh daughter sorry and then obviously here we've got the 12 that have gone as well so all together we know what 14 have gone missing and they've also killed four of them so interesting when you just think about it going like that and the names are quite similar ethan nathan 
also both of them said they was from Canada as well. This guy obviously who died wasn't uh, wasn't Nathan, uh, but I, I thought they were trying to play it into us. That's how they got me. That's why I was thinking he was it because it was it was so similar. But very interesting. Can't wait to watch the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.